Hello there, Simple Turismo bringing to you this full comparison between automatic and manual transmission in Gran Turismo 7. I hope you like it, especially because of the car that I chose to do this comparison, the Toyota Supra GT500. If you find this comparison helpful for you, please consider subscribing to this channel where I give you tips and tricks on Gran Turismo and how to improve your techniques. Okay, enjoy the comparison. Okay, so let's do the comparison. For this comparison, I'm gonna show you the best lap of the manual first, then I'm gonna show you the best lap of the automatic, okay? I did three laps on the manual and I did almost five laps, I think, with the automatic. The first thing I need to tell you about the manual transmission as you can see i have total control so for me personally if i just want to have fun i go straight to the manual because then i can rev the car up and then i can hear the amazing engine sound which is great and also gives you an amazing sense of control but besides that just take a look at how i stretch the gear on the straight line i stretch it then I look at the RPM, when, I, when it touches the red bar, then I change the gear. This is very important and I'm gonna show you why in a second, actually on the final part of the video, so you really need to watch until the end. So my best lap on the manual transmission was 57.155. Now let's see how am I going to do with the automatic but first I need to tell you that like manual transmission is a lot of fun okay but if you want to drive fast let's see if the automatic can win the manual transmissions and please pay attention to the beginning of the lap now coming hot for the first straight changing gears before reaching the the red line okay as you can see the downshifts are right on the spot i don't lose any power for it so me myself i'm an amateur on it so sometimes i just forget to downshift but it doesn't happen with the automatic transmission and as a result i'm gaining time here as you can see i'm doing my best time ever especially on the first sector i gain a lot of time but the more and more i go in the lap i'm losing time why is that let's see now on the straight i'm still like faster but let's see on the straight what happens i'm losing time again i'm losing time again it's the same car i was gaining time on the corners i was gaining time when i had to downshift but the last part i lost time again why that happened let's let's check the the timetable real quick so you can have a better understanding of it first as you can see on the first sector i was doing my best time ever i was like six tenths more faster than like my previous time doing the manual but unfortunately my second sector and my third sector suffer and we don't know why what happened did simple turismo is just a, a newbie and he he bottled the, the race no as you can see it was my fastest time when i was doing the automatic okay but even though i couldn't do it this happens because of the way the car delivers the power, especially on the straights. Let's check the power of the car right now. As you can see, right there on output adjustment, you we can see the, the power, 492 horsepower. So the power is up there on the RPM. So when you need the power, sometimes it's best to just stretch the gear a little bit and unfortunately, that's the only way you can have the control during the manual transmission. You cannot have the, the, the control with the automatic transmission. So what is the conclusion about this comparison? Well, 
I would say, and this is my humble opinion, I'm not a professional, okay? I'm just a guy that loves first <laughs> cars, then to play Gran Turismo, then to help some other people along the way. My conclusion is the following. If you are driving on a track that has lots and lots of downshifts and not so many straights, like for example, some parts of the Tokyo Expressway, like full of, full of corners, but not so many straights, I would recommend using the automatic. Also, if you are driving, for example, a turbo car that's not like a racing car, like the, the Supra, we understand that the power delivery is different. So they usually they don't use like high RPMs cars, so you don't have to stretch the gear as much. On the contrary, it's best to change the gear quickly. So the automatic transmission can help you. But if you want to have fun, if you want to improve, if you want to have control of the car at all times, I would recommend aggressively to just practice and practice and practice with the manual transmission as I am doing. If you want also some tips on how to drive the manual transmission as I am improving my skills along the way, I'm going to teach you. Okay, so just leave your, your comment down below and I'm going to try my best to improve on my, my spare time because I don't have all the time of the world to practice, but I love practice and I love talking about cars and help people. So if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe and check my other visual video as well about traction control, the TCS, okay? I hope you like it. See you on the next. Bye-bye.